Hello everybody, welcome to the headquarters of Laserline, where we would like to introduce you a little bit into our, one of our major applications, which you see here, it's a laser cladding application, which we use for, let's say, four major purposes. We're using laser cladding, one, for additive manufacturing. We are building parts. Second, for corrosion protection, so we are using it to protect parts from corrosion. Third, we are using it for wear protection. And last but not least, we are doing also repair welding. So we are repairing components which have broken parts or something like this. So I would like to give you some inside views and show you some parts. And maybe we kick off with the most heaviest in the beginning. This is a drill bit. The classic material you see here as the vise, and then a very strong part added here as a drill bit for drilling after gas and oil or something like this. And this material here is additive manufacturing, which is done in a specific machine together with our partner DMG Modi, which was developed for such applications. Another example which we have, and which I mentioned before, um, in the additive manufacturing is parts that we create from wire rather than powder. So here you see a simple demonstrating part which is manufactured from laser and wire cladding. Layer by layer by layer we are building this part up. So two examples for making parts with the laser out of nothing just by using powder or wire to create the parts. One of the major components or one of the major features that we are looking at is the complexity for free, as many people use it, you can have a free design of something which is much more difficult in uh, classic manufacturing. Let's switch to the second uh, topic I mentioned, corrosion protection. In the area of corrosion protection, I would like to show you this part here. This part is a cooling element, cooler heat exchanger for a biogas um, system. So you have here the base material, which you can see, and that is made from a classic steel as a cheap component and has some cladding on top, which is made with the corrosion protection. So the corrosion protection is nickel alloy. The base material is cheap steel. If we would make the whole part from nickel, it would be simply way too expensive. This can be adapted to more or less everything you can consider. And another specific application of this field, oh, heavy again, is such a hydraulic cylinder. This hydraulic cylinder is manufactured again with laser cladding. You have all these laser cladding sections here, which is done with the so-called high-speed cladding application, where we can do many square meters per hour, much faster than uh, classic cladding applications, and way more healthy than using chromium in the hard chrome plating, which is substituted by this application. It's already the third that I mentioned is wear protection. And in wear protection, again, I would like to show you two examples. Here we have one example, which is from the field of uh, agricultural technology. This is a cutter, can be used, for example, to cut grass. And if a farmer is out in the field and he's cutting all his grass that he needs for the season, he doesn't want to stop. So maintenance is not an option. And here we are having, again, a wear protection made by cladding. Here we use uh, powder which is consisting of tungsten carbide and this is having a three to four times longer life than the non-protected material. And here the farmer can stay out with this tool for the whole season without maintenance. And very special, this is a thin layer and here we have a cutting edge and we are not melting it because we can control the heat very, very nicely. Another area of this wear protection is here, a classic brake disc, which we use in a car, for in a car typically. And here on this layer, we have done, again, tungsten carbide is one example, there is others in testing, on top of this brake disc, and create with this a layer which has much less fine dust. So next to the wear protection, the brake disc can last longer, we have a reduction of fine dust into the um, environment. So both sides are coated and we have a reduction in fine dust emission in the range of about 30% compared to a non carbon practice and we consider this a very interesting application coming up in the future. So 
So the fourth section that I mentioned was repair welding. Repair welding means we are talking about a part that has been manufactured to a certain purpose and now it has been used, it's worn, there's pieces broken out and we have to repair it. Very typical, we talk about big molds from the automotive industry and I don't have such an example here. So what we do as a demonstrator is simply a part like this. We have here the inner section, which for example can stand for, for any component and we have added here a second layer from powder to make it back or to bring it back into its first geometry and make sure that we are having a repair of the part, not necessarily making the part completely new. So it's just an example because the basic parts are simply too big. Now, this is a summary, corrosion protection, wear protection, repair welding and additive manufacturing. These are the major fields where we use laser cladding with our dye lasers here at LaserLine. Thank you very much.